Hi, our doll and toy BFFs. Um, today, Sophia, this is Sophia and I'm Nene, and today we're gonna talk about Ken dolls. Yep. And we have a lot of Ken dolls to show you. I know some people out there, the boy dolls, the Ken dolls aren't their favorite, and it's just our opinion, but we kinda like them, right? Yep. Do you like Ken dolls? Yeah. I mean, I think- They can be useful. <laughs> They, but they're good for dates, right? Yeah. Yeah, and for friends. Yeah. They they make for good friends. So you have um, more friends. So when you know, Barbie just had a birthday, and um, Ruth Han Handler is, was the creator of Barbie, and she created Barbie in 1959, and then in 1961 is when Ken came on the scene. Um, and I have some of the older Ken dolls here. You want to grab that one for me? Um, they had flocked hair and, you know, some of us that were born in the 60s, you know, we don't look like we used to and they're getting some male pattern baldness going on here. <laughs> they had flocked hair and I actually have reflocked some of them. Um, I've kind of left these guys alone, but you could get a brunette or you could get a blonde. And maybe because, I don't know, maybe they didn't like the flocking or thought maybe it wouldn't hold up. Um, mm -hmm. The next year, uh, we got Ken with just the painted on molded head. And he's got his kind of iconic swimsuit and swim yeah. matching swimsuit jacket here. Women, his, yeah, his flip flops. Um, I feel like the older Kens are a lot skinnier, don't you? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. But, you know, they were high schoolers, and I don't know. I feel like um, sometimes. Our guys are a little bit more muscly in real life and in Ken dolls now, like working out, you know, stuff a little bit more. Yeah, they have workout things. So if these guys were only supposed to be like 17 or something like that, um, then then that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I this was a little bit before my time, these guys. Um, I do have some really neat, um, some of the original Ken doll fashions. If you Ooh. would like to see that, let me know in the comments. Um, but here's some of them that, oh, oopsie. Here's some of them that um, were more from my day. My first Ken doll was Malibu Ken. <laughs> I like had a big fat fit today because I could not find him anywhere. I have... Barbies all over this house, don't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like boxes and under the bed and in the closet. And I was like, where's my Balibu Ken? He was my first Ken doll. Um, he originally came out in 1971. That's old. Uh, that's old. And I think he looks like, that's pretty not, good. That's only like a couple of like 20 years. Since. He's getting a little bit of... Um, like his eyebrow is starting to get a little bit bare, but this this yeah. was mine. This is the one I played with, and he see Ooh, so yeah. losing a little bit of eyebrow. Oh, they make their he eyebrows has really lots of adventures out in the backyard. Um, he he went on the dunking booth, which was a big barrel out in our backyard that we threw him in. <laughs> we threw him in the pool. Oh goodness! Yeah, he rode up the flagpole. He's he's been around for a long time. And you can see he's not being real fashionable now. And so I kind of want to fix that. Yeah. I, I They had Kindle fashions, but whenever I would go to the store, yeah. I would always, you know, think, oh, I'm going to get something for my Ken. And then I would see a really pretty dress for my Barbie. <laughs> and so there were actually times he wore a paper towel. That's kind of sad. It is so I sad. For him. It is really sad, isn't it? I, do, I feel bad for him, too. And he's got stained shorts that are way too short and a Barbie Rockers t-shirt. So <laughs> we, he's going to get fixed up because I I was so excited to find him because yeah. he, he was my and guy for a long time. Why do they have, like, the mold right Oh, there? what? Um, yeah, they instead have his, like, in, instead of on his back, it says Mattel on a, the back of his neck. I feel like they should put that, like, on, like, a piece of paper or something in the box. For people like well no they're it's always molded on their backs and or their backsides but and um i th i didn't i got this guy later he was came out about the same year he's a um, um moving can like live action kind of guy he does have click legs 
He doesn't have, we didn't, they didn't have too much articulation in their arms, but mm -hmm. he could kind of, you know, dance and move around, which we still have, you know, that's kind of how some of our guys are made mm -hmm. to move guys are now. They yeah, have that. Yeah, I think mostly girls have those. Have that, uh, yeah, articulation in their, in their waist. Mm -hmm. Well, I had him in 1971, and then in 1973, I got mod-haired Ken. You know what I like about the new Kens what? more? I like how they actually stick it in their head because these, if you rub it too much, they can just come off. What? These, you have yeah. to actually like pull it out. Oh, this is rooted. It. Yeah, this yeah. was all rooted in. And we I thought like that rooted. was really cool. And he came with little stickers um, that were beards and you could stick a little beard <laughs> on him or a little mustache. <laughs> um, they got lost. I think they got stuck on the side of his the orange camper and everything that we had. And it just, I don't know what happened to them. I do have his Poor original camper. jacket. But at least he came with clothes. Yeah. So this guy only came in a swimsuit. So I had these two guys, and these were the two that I played with all the time. Mm. And then this guy came out a little bit later, and I, um, it, I don't know. I was, I, I was probably too old maybe to be playing with my Barbies. That's what people told me. But I'm 58 now, and I'm still playing with Barbies. So I guess maybe I wasn't. Yeah, His hair's crazy in it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Um, but he came with a marker so you could, he, and he, oh, you could shave him and you could put marker. beards and stuff like that on him. Okay. And he has articulation and he also has articulation. Yep. In his, they just keep building up. Yeah. So getting a little bit better. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and I brought Donny Osmond just to share that with Wait, everybody. <laughs> Look at that outfit. Why is his feet like that? Like they're like up like this. Well, I bought him. Um, he wasn't originally mine, and I think somebody chewed on his. I think somebody chewed on his feet. Why just did he have a ring or something? I think I think he did. I okay. Think he had a ring. Is he made out of plastic? Yeah, he's just like a Ken doll. He's got clicky legs like my old Ken dolls, mm. and I he have a Marie somewhere. He was a hands. singer, so he has, he has big hands. Yeah. Um, people used to think he was super, super cute, and they had posters of him hanging in their room. Oh, goodness. Yeah, look at that outfit. <laughs> um, and then um, we got into the 80s, and so here's my mullet kin. <laughs> I think he has the weirdest. Look at his. Doesn't he have a weird face? I don't know. Yeah. He kind of looks like an old man with a mullet. He kind of looks like a magician. <laughs> well, he's supposed to be like a rock and roll dude. And um, I his... feel like they would have tongue sticking out. Oh, <laughs> that was that was Kiss back in those days. That's what you're talking about. Gene Simmons had his tongue sticking out. I don't. I I I would probably like to have some Kiss dolls actually, but I don't. Um, yeah, his jacket's blinding us right now, isn't it? He I, these these are you know his original pants that he came in and stuff. And he's not. He didn't have a lot of play time and stuff he just kind of has been hanging out in a trunk but you can see like the pants or that pleather is yeah. wearing away and um it's not holding up real well and then he's got his I, it's almost like his head's too small for his neck yeah yeah kind of like that one you just showed us yeah i don't know i i, I think he's i think he's got an odd face mold yeah i don't know if i'm that huge a fan yeah. and to some of these guys these guys were some that came out in the 80s, okay? At least he's got some He's got some nice clothes on. Yeah. Indeed. Here, and these guys um, have similar face molds, although I think he his name was supposed to be like Todd instead of oh, yeah. Ken, but he's got the same exact <laughs> face as Ken, okay? And then we have, we have the another same... one with the same face mold that... Oh, and the same hair. Yeah. Goodness. Western Ken, okay? <laughs> A little bit different hair colors and stuff like that. These are some of my 80s guys. And then this one was with, actually with Barbie and the Rockers. Wait, where did his shoes go? I don't know. I think. I think you let me and Michael play. I with think you guys then. played with him. And I his pants are, are kind of falling apart too with that yeah. like leather looking. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, he's Lots got that, that kind of uh, 80s look going on there. I think he has but he's not a bad look. But he's, I think he's got a nice face mold. I think yeah. he's kind of cute. I, yeah, I kind of like his hair. Yeah, and it's got a little bit of highlights in it. Are those the socks that came? Yeah, I think these are his socks. I just don't, we'll have to find That's his shoes. Okay, he's got a really pretty jacket on. and Yeah. I think, he's, I think his name was actually Derek. He was a member of the Barbie and the Rockers band, if I'm remembering right. 
Okay. Um, like I said, Ruth Handler came up with having the Ken doll to be, I guess, a date for Barbie in 1961. She actually <laughs> named him after her son. Her son's name was Kenneth. And so that's where the name Ken came from. Um, these guys are, let's, let's bring, Wait. let's bring the other one that kind of looks, I don't know that guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't, the, okay. So this is like a California dude. Um, and this guy, I don't know. This guy looks a little grouchy or something. I don't know. He looks young too. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like this one's face better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I definitely like his outfit. I think his outfit's super cool. I like how cool. he's got a little chain. Yeah, he's got a little chain. He's got a water or sunscreen water bottle or something in his pockets. Um, they have the rooted hair, which is kind of nice. Yes, um, rooted hair is nice. Yeah. And I think we kind of skipped ahead on these ones a little bit. Let's this this one. Let's get that doctor one. I thought this one was funny. It's, it's Dr. Dr. Ken. Okay, but it's like he's going out like to the prom in his lab coat. That doesn't make sense. Well, I know, but look how shiny it is. And he's got a bow tie, so he's got fancy clothes to be a doctor. Wait, is oh, some, I lost like, one of his shoes, too. Wait, is it like, just like... So he's got like a fancy shirt. Oh, you can shirt. actually like take that Yeah, out. but they, it's probably not a real short shirt. Because usually they don't, they just have like, kind of, see it's all one piece. So it's kind of like a tuxedo lab coat, which oh. is... We can bring out another. Kind of reminds me of Toy Story, you know, Ken and all of his shiny fashions. Another doctor with a beard. Well, this is just an outfit I put on him. Yeah, but uh, he can still his, be a doctor. Yeah, his hair's a little bit crazy. But he has um, a I think beard. I got. I think he was a Goodwill find. Yeah. Yeah, and then this guy's got a beard too, but he's just got. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe in our sunny day videos they could be like. He could be like a dad or something, but yeah, we got to figure out what to do with his hair. I've tried to wash it and gel it, and so he's got rooted hair, but then he also has painted hair in the back, and it just is not no, not this much yet. It's just not laying right. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy is this is this the one that like is from Toy Story? Like, is this the guy that does his fashion show in the closet kind of thing? So. <gasps> Yeah, so um, this face mold, I think, stuck around for a really, really, really long time. Um, but he, but he's handsome. He's he's a nice looking guy, right? Okay, slow down a little bit. Okay, this is this is Koku. I'm from Pocahontas, and um, he's got some interesting eyebrows. Uh, I guess because he was kind of an intense character and not always, he, in the movie, he wasn't super nice and maybe that makes him look a little bit, um, me. Yeah. Um, but I always really liked him. I think he's got a, he's got a tattoo somewhere. Here, let's find out where, I think maybe it's on his chest. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, he's, what is there's that? his tattoos. What is that? Oh. Yeah. Um, and he's got a mohawk, which I know is part of the story, but then it gets all these other hairs caught in it. And I've always, like, I really like him. I fight with this. So I've almost thought maybe he's a candidate for rerouting. And it, and it sheds a lot. Yeah. Um, so maybe he, maybe we just need to get him some new hair and try some rerouting. Yeah. He could be a rerouting test. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are some of our our past Ken dolls, and and like I said, I I love them. Um, I'm really excited about like how some of them are. I don't know. Looking now, they have like different faces, and the fashionistas have different looks, and some of our look dolls are articulated. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about. Let's talk about some of our fashionistas first. Okay. So I really like this guy. And sometimes you can get them, you know, when they have sales on Amazon. I think I got him for like five bucks. Mm -hmm. And I really like his braids. Um, I think he's got a really pretty face. Um, 
It's just going to be hard to find a flexible body for you. Well, I know. And maybe, maybe, maybe they don't all need to be articulated. You know, if they're just kind of walking around in our videos, that's, that's yeah, okay, right? But if like they're like it's kind of hard, stars, it's want. kind of hard to If they're main them. stars, we want to well, have them flexible. Yeah, but I think he's, I think he needs to, to be in him. He's, and I was using this guy as my model the other day. I was trying to sew some um, t-shirts and um, so he was, he was my model. That's he's he got some braids shirt. and he's got, well, he didn't come in one. He just came in. You know, he was a swimming doll, so he just came in some swim trunks. Oh, so if we ever have a pool video, he'll be a swimming doll. Yeah, but we can also put clothes on him, right? Yeah. I think he's got a really handsome face, too. And this is a fashionista. His hair, it, it's kind of like the, the guy that had the beard with the painted on hair. So part <laughs> of his hair is But painted. it looks a little better than... Well, it is kind of laying down, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about him? I like him. Yeah? Okay. Um, now, he has some shiny hair. <laughs> well, I, um, he, he was a fashionista that's not out, I don't think, anymore. Like, I, I didn't see him on, like, Amazon or anything. But I've got an idea. Um, i got a project I want to do with him. So, that's for a later date. But, so stay tuned on that because <laughs> I'm going to try to do something with him. And then we've got our farm Ken. Yeah, farm oh, Ken. Kind of just our basic Ken. He's, I think he's, I think these Kens are really handsome. Yeah. Okay. And then let's talk about some of our, I, okay, More so, flexible. yeah. So I kind of looked up online because I wanted some that were articulated. And I saw that PETA from Hunger Games or Catching Fire was articulated. Um, he was kind of hard to find and he was a little bit pricey. So I just kept waiting for like a good deal and I, and I went a bit on him. Um, but yeah, he has, you know, articulation at the knees. Um, his feet move, his um, elbows move, his hands, he can twirl his head. And he, does he have articulation? I don't think he has articulation in his chest, but I thought he was handsome. Um, so I got him and I, I got him new in the box. So I kind of like that. And then I was not, um, a, uh, Mattel Creations, uh, member when he came out and I kind of missed these ones that were all in like white and black. And I think he's got, Ooh, I like his hair. It's yeah, he's, like, he's yeah. got, um, flocked hair and then he's got some braids, but he's got such I think such a amazing face mold, like high cheekbones. I just think he's super mm -hmm. handsome. Um, some people are using his body for some other things, but I thought, well, I guess if you had some spares, but I love his face. So I'm not taking his head and doing anything else with that. Yeah. Um, I did get the look doll that um, has the long black hair and the silver pants. He kind of has an intense face. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah. And um, so I haven't changed his clothes or restyled his hair or yeah, done anything like that. We don't really want to change our clothes. They're actually kind of nice. And then we already talked about these two look dolls before. Um, I've been seeing these in a lot of uh, people's videos and uh, photographs and things. Um, he's, you know super muscular. Some people are saying this is some, the Superman's body mold. He has some muscular. Yeah, but this guy's like, so like that baggy shirt I had on a can while ago, like uh, that'd be good for him because I think that he can't flex. He's got really big leg muscles and stuff. His clothes are going to have to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. happening there? I don't know. <laughs> you can take him. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I, don't know. I think he moved his shoulder. There we go. Mm -hmm. And here's your Michael. Okay. Yes. And my grandson's name is Michael. He'll he'll be in some of our videos sometime, but that's why I named him Michael because I thought I think he is like I love looking at him. I think he is so handsome and <laughs> just I love I love that he's a brunette. Mm -hmm. Um I think his eyes and I, just his face mold I just think are awesome. Um, his, 
um, jeans are a little bit baggy. They probably fit on my muscly guy there. So I had to really tighten up his, his belt. But I got two pairs of these jeans on Amazon for around 12 bucks, um, which I didn't think was too bad of a deal. But like I said, they're a little, little bit loose on him. Um, and then I got these t-shirts that were for like action dolls and they, I think had been, I don't know, a decent price. Yeah. Um, but they have a really small head, um, head hole oh. <laughs> and they didn't have any opening in the back. So I had to cut those up the back. So like, if you do see those, they're like for action, 12 inch action dolls or something, I had to kind of cut that open. Now this guy here has the same face mold. Um, I think somebody kind of colored in his hair maybe a little bit, but I bought him at Mercari. Um, I, I liked his tuxedo. I liked his face. He is not flexible. So this, this guy, you know, has, um, bends at the knees and the elbows and, um, he doesn't have articulation in his chest, but his hands, this guy does not, but I thought he was super handsome. Oh, and stay tuned for Michael and Lily's date. <laughs> oh, yes. In our sunny days. Yes. He appears in sunny days. And this guy's going to also. We decided to name him Patrick O'Brien. <laughs> um, but he, and we haven't restyled his hair yet. I was going to the other day, right? And I didn't. Yeah. Um, it's pretty stiff. Um, because got, he has crazy hair. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's. Got some paint and then some rooted hair. He's got an earring. He's the part of the yes, 1959 I, yes, series. Yes, I want him to be my date. <laughs> um, he's got, let, let's let's look at him close. He's got some freckles. He was pretty hard to find. I think he's pretty popular and he is a doll that's kept his value. Yes, I really like See, how he freckles. There's, I think that's these dolls' cute. pants are shedding all over that have fake leather. Well, we're going to have to clean that up. Would you grab that? bag there oh goodness so um i got these on only doll things um because i did oh my goodness look at this stack of cans um <laughs> probably did not get enough but because i still have this guilt about my malibu can having to wear paper towels i was like okay my guys do not have enough fashion they don't have yeah, enough clothes like we buy them clothes and then we leave them. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get organized. Yeah. We're gonna get a doll room going, and that's gonna be super exciting. But when we were trying to make our sunny day that's videos just, with um, going prom. to prom, we couldn't like find some Ooh, nice yeah. suits and some tuxedos. Um, so the coffee shop. We got some aprons for the coffee shop, and I think it was like five dollars for two of them. Oh. Um, we got which is that's good. That's yeah. Um, and like a little gray suit. Ooh, that's, that'd be good for. Yeah. And we got. Wait, um, it was the Valentine's dance. What did I say? Prom. Oh yeah. We haven't <laughs> had the prom yet. Um, but with, if they're, Ooh. when they're going to prom, they need some suits. I thought this, this tux was really This is really nice. cute. Yeah. And some, so they've got, they've got three of these. They got a. Mm. Wait. And this was only doll things. Only doll things. Yeah. And so like kind of a thermal, kind of looks like a sweater. Um, that mm -hmm. t-shirt I think came with these jeans. Yeah, this t-shirt isn't made the best with the sleeves. Um, Cause they're like. Oh no, I think that's nice. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, that's okay. If we, as long as we can get it over his head and I think we can with that. Wait, so would that's this nice. be cute with this? Yeah, and then they have all kinds, of, she had all kinds of sets that have little vests and pants that match different colors. And some jammies. Some we really jammies. need these. I know, our guys have no jammies. Our, either do our girls. They have, yeah, we got the Olaf one now. Yeah, but still yeah. it's not enough. <laughs> and then would you, those three t-shirts no, on the other side, can you, nope. And then um, it's called Z Z Zozi, so Z O Z I. So um, I bought a pattern, and then I just at the craft store sometimes they have like T-shirts that are like five bucks. So I got the biggest size T-shirt that I could get, 
and I just um, made three t-shirts for my guys and then did some iron-on transfers. So uh, I think the pattern was like $1.75. Um, so I could actually make some t-shirts for my guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and they could wear these with jeans or something like that. I want to make them some black ones too. I did the same thing. I bought a big black t-shirt so we could make them some t-shirts. And our guys can actually dress kind of nice. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all we have on our kins. I would love for you guys to leave a comment, like if you have a favorite kin doll or what you like when you look for a kin doll. Like, what mm -hmm. do you like for your kin doll? You want them to, what, what features? Well, I want them to be cute. Okay. First off, I want them to be wearing some clothes, but like, aren't like, just Bad. swimsuits? Yeah, like oh. that aren't like weird sleeves and stuff. And... Do you like them to be articulated? Yeah, I but that's kind of hard to find. It is kids. hard to find. So. That's why I had to order those ones. Yeah, other than the look dolls, it's kind of hard to find articulated yeah. kids in there. And the look dolls are really good. Yeah. Well, that's all we have for today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. And we would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell. And you can follow us on TikTok and Instagram. This is Nene. This is Fia. See, See ya. ya.